So today, from stress to calm, a three-step approach for high achieving women. So I think the first thing I want to say today is I want to make it very clear that I'm not going to be guiding anybody towards trying to manage stress. It's probably the most stressful thing we can actually do <laughs> is try and manage stress. So let's let's put that down because this idea that we can manage stress, manage our emotions, but also manage so many things in the outside world with this whole concept that we're going to somehow stop feeling stress through that. It is utterly unmanageable and, and completely never ending. It, like we can literally carry on doing that. And I remember when I used to teach um, some workshops in businesses where I would talk about stress to success habits that was the title of the talk many many years ago and the the whole point of it was to teach people all these different stress management techniques and when I first came across this inside out understanding I really saw very quickly that I'd probably done more harm than good but of course at the time I was really doing what I thought was the right thing to do and so there we go <laughs> sorry for anybody who was left in the wake of that um but it really I, I just can see now that all those poor stressed out people would come into a meeting that they've probably been sent to by somebody and that somebody above them and then I would sit there and pontificate about all the things they should be doing in order to feel okay like meditation and affirmations and all these other things and gratitude journals that was the other one now i'm not saying don't do these things if these things are things that light you up and, and but really if they light you up like if you just love sitting with a journal at the end of your day and it just lights you up to do that then fantastic if however you are trying to get somewhere by doing that then that is where it is it's pretty fruitless really um so th that we don't need any more thinking to try and fix thinking that's what i'm really saying here we c we can't do it that way it just doesn't doesn't work however um i think really understanding the root of stress really getting very clear about that is is really 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 vital because you know, you, you probably know a little bit about me now, but I burnt out in 2015 and I had literally no idea how stressed I was. I, It's bizarre because my body was shouting at me on an almost daily basis, well, probably a moment by moment basis, <laughs> to, to let me know how stressed I was. But I often, um, I said it to somebody today, if you'd have said, are you stressed, Claire, the day before I burnt out, I probably would have laughed in your face and said you were being ridiculous. I had no idea, no idea how stressed I was. And um, it was, yeah, it was only a while really, quite a while after I burnt out that I realised what had happened to me. I understood that it was burnout rather than what I was told by the National Health Service here was that I was, that I had um, depression because I couldn't do anything. I was not functioning properly. So there's no two ways about it. Running, running life at a, in a state of stress for, you know, short term, it's fine. It's part of life. But when it's, you know, we're running at that, I think I was running at quite a high level for probably about 20 years. And then in the, in the final sort of three years, it all kind of ramped up a notch because of what was happening in my personal life. And what I was creating, no two ways about it, by trying to make myself feel better by utterly controlling the outside world. So, you know, there's no two ways about it that chronic stress, you know, they, they say now that stress contributes or causes, causes or contributes to 80% 80 per, 80 of illness. Um, it, it can harm our relationships. It can cause serious health issues. And I often say, I'm so grateful that I burnt out, actually, because if I'd carried on like that, 
maybe something else in my body would have told me to get lost. <laughs> you know, I would have perhaps ended up with a heart attack or a stroke or something much worse than that. So I am really, really grateful that I burnt out, which sounds a bit crazy, but um, it's true. Um, we We can feel... Like I remember feeling quite out of control, really, but but ironically, that was because I thought I needed to be in control, which really wasn't wasn't good at all. Um, and so and so, you know, my my journey since then it's nearly ten years ago now. It was twenty fifth March twenty fifteen when I burnt out. Um, my journey since then has been to really uncover it's more sustainable calm, really through through the journey that I've been on and the the journey that I now take women through with the thriving woman approach um and it kind of has three three parts to it really the first thing that we absolutely need to do when we are approaching stress is to really understand what the root of it is and that's the purpose of the heart of thriving curriculum I'm just going to sneeze, bear with me. <laughs> um, you know, it's the heart of thriving curriculum, which is a real grounding in this inside out understanding. While ever we think stress is coming from the outside world, while ever we're in that misunderstanding, and this is not a license for people to have people working ridiculous hours and things like that. But there is, there is um, a misunderstanding about where what is the source of stress. It feels like it can be it's caused by external circumstances, but but it really the vast majority of it comes from our relationship with the world out there, our internal responses, our thought patterns, how our, our thought patterns, how we relate to our, our our system you know how we relate to what's going on outside of us how we relate to our emotions what's happening within us now the heart of thriving curriculum teaches some foundational principles that really shift the way you understand and navigate stress um you start to see your challenges very differently you can access calm more readily even amidst <laughs> the chaos that many of our lives seem to have going on at the moment um, you get to really understand your internal weather system better um, and, and to see that you, you do go up and down, you're supposed to go up and down, that isn't a problem but when you see that that's okay there's a very different relationship with it and then the, you know there's a real um, you know the, the thriving the the unique journey to thriving has 12 elements to it covering all sorts of different subjects that people might find that they have some stress around and so we're using the thriving discovery tool this is a second part to really gain awareness of of what it is for you that is that you are struggling most to navigate so it could be relationships it could be around productivity it could be around decision making there's a whole there's 12 different areas because every single woman's journey is unique, every single person's journey is unique, and this the thriving discovery tool is just a very simple questionnaire that you complete that really helps you to un uncover where stress is showing up in your life, whether it's relationships, whether there's some issues around work life balance, whether it's internal that voice in your head that is chatting away and and causing you to be driven towards perfectionism or whatever it is that awareness is really, really even just having that awareness of, of, of what kinds of thinking are directing your life is really really powerful and through that awareness you become much more um much more aware <laughs> through that awareness you become much more aware that was brilliant wasn't it um through that awareness you become much more able to yeah just connect to it in a different way and then the the questionnaire the discovery tool leads to the unique journey to thriving which is really working through your journey to true calm like no one size fits all no sense that everybody needs the same thing once you've got that initial grounding with the heart of thriving curriculum you really start to connect to the things that are most important for you and it might be you end up working through the whole curriculum 
but it doesn't matter. You, you'll find your own unique path and your own, own unique order through that. And it's really about aligning with what's right for you, what's your unique path, and helping you to really show up in life with, with the confidence that you want, with that alignment to who you really with that authenticity that you may be searching for. Um, and it's just it's just so life changing. So that's a little bit about that. It's a little bit about the thriving woman approach that those are the three steps that you would go through um, somewhere around here. There'll be a place to reach out and find out more. So please do that. Take care. Lots of love. Thanks for being here. Bye.